Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Naval Action Ship Reviews. So today we're going to take a rather quick look at the regular old frigate. So, in Naval Action the frigate is a 38 gun frigate. No surprise, it says so in the name. Her battle rating is 170 and she has a crew count of 280. Her bow chasers, she can only carry bow chasers and no stern ch chasers, consist of either two 6 pound cannons or two 24 pound carronades. For a broadside, she can carry either 26 18 pound cannons or 32 pound carronades. And on the weather deck, she can carry either 12, pound, 12 times 6 pound cannons or 12 24 pound carronades. So this gives her a broadside weight with cannons of 270 pounds, which is more than the lighter 38 gun frigate, the Surprise, which has only 150 pounds. And it is also more than the Bell Pool, which is also a lighter frigate, with 198 pounds. Her carronade broadside, meanwhile, sits at 560 pounds, which is more than the Surprise again, which sits at 510 pounds. And it is, however, less than the Bell Pool, which sits at 500... Oh, excuse me. 568 pound, which is an entire 8 pounds more. Holy shit. It's barely anything. We have quickly, very quickly gone through her uh, armament. Now let's go through her structure and armor. So her bow structure sits at 1150, side structure 4600, and stern structure 460. This is more than the surprise, which is no surprise, which sits at 1000, 4000, and 400 for the bow, side, and stern, respectively. It's also more than the bell pool, which sits at 1125, 4500, and 450 for the bow, side, and stern, respectively. So the frigate has the most structure of them all. For armor, the frigate sits at 36 cm for the bow, 60 cm for the side, and 24 cm for the stern. The surprise has less, which sits at 44 cm for the bow, 57 cm for the side, and 23 cm for the stern. However, it is less than the bell pool, which sits at 37 centimeters for the bow, 62 centimeters for the side, and 25 centimeters for the stern. So while the frigate has the most structure, it is not the most heavily armed. However, the difference between both the structure and the armor between the bell pool and the frigate is very small. Now, to answer the question of how does she handle? Handle? I mean handle. So the frigate has a decent speed, she isn't the fastest frigate, she isn't the slowest either, she does 12.29 knots, which is slower than the Surprise, which does 12.35 knots, and it's also slower than the Bell Pool, which does 12.31 knot. Her turn rate is also decent, which is at 3.63, it is a bit worse than the Surprise, which does 3.72, but it is considerably better than the Bell Pool, which does only 3.13. Her sailing profile is also in between the bell pool and the surprise. The surprise having the better sailing profile while the bell pool the worse. And but then again, the surprise has amazing sailing profile and the bell pool doesn't have that bad of a sailing profile either. So there's that. So in conclusion, what do I think of the frigate? Well, I think she's okay. I'm not a fan of her. I never was. The 18 pounders do provide some nice firepower, but in frigates I prefer to use carronades anyways, so the surprise is really better suited to me since she is better sailor all around, although she has less structure and armor. I prefer the surprise. So really, I think most people use the frigate, or at least build her, due to where she sits in the crafting lineup. You need to craft her to get the bigger blueprints. So that's why I think uh, there's so many frigates around, not because she is the best ship for the world, but because she is a must-have to progress, in the crafting at least. So, but she's an alright ship. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the frigate, and I'll see you in the next review, or the next thingy. And if you liked this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more ship reviews, subscribe every Wednesday, 6pm, CEST, I mean CET nodded. We've switched over to winter time, but uh, every Wednesday there's a review. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.